Ever had that moment when you discover a bag in your app right after releasing it? That sinking feeling when you realize you'll have to wait days or even weeks for App Store approvals just to fix something that would take you two minutes to code? Yeah, it's frustrating. But what if I told you there's a way to push updates directly to your users' devices instantly, without going through the app stores at all? My name is Daniel, and today I'm diving into Shorebird, a game-changing tool that lets you instantly push Flutter updates to all your users without dealing with App Store reviews. In this video, I'll show you exactly what Shorebird is, why it matters for Flutter developers, and how it actually works with a quick demo. You'll see the whole process from setup to pushing your first update. So if you're tired of slow app update cycles and want to ship fixes faster, stick around. This might be the solution you've been looking for. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's jump right in. What is Shorebird? Alright, so what exactly is Shorebird? In simple terms, it's a tool that lets you update your Flutter apps instantly without going through the app stores. Think about it. You find a bug or want to make a small improvement, and boom, you can push that change directly to your users' devices right away. No waiting. No App Store review process. What's really cool is that Shorebird was actually built by former Flutter team engineers. These are the people who know Flutter inside and out. They created Shorebird because they understood the challenges developers face. And the important thing to remember is that this isn't some hacky workaround or plugin. It's a proper, thoughtful solution designed specifically for Flutter. Why it matters. Now, let me tell you why this matters so much. If you've ever published an app, you know the pain of the traditional release flow. You spot a tiny bug that's annoying users. But to fix it, you have to go through this whole process. Submit to the App Store, wait for review, hope it gets approved, and then wait for users to update. It can take days or even weeks sometimes. And it's not just bugs. Maybe you want to roll out a small improvement or feature. Same problem. This slow iteration speed really holds back developers and frustrates users who have to deal with known issues while waiting for updates. That's exactly where Shorebird comes in, folks. It gives you this amazing ability to fix bugs and ship improvements fast while still keeping everything safe and secure. You can keep moving forward with your development instead of getting stuck in these endless release cycles. For developers who care about providing the best experience possible, Shorebird is like having a superpower. The ability to instantly improve your app whenever needed. No more telling users, we know about that bug, just wait for the next update in a week or two. Now you can just fix it and move on. How it works. And now, let me show you how to push updates to a Flutter app without using the App Store or Google Play using Shorebird. First, let's create a new Flutter project. Flutter create Shorebird demo. Then we need to go into the project folder and run Flutter Run. This will launch our project on the Android emulator. It only takes a few minutes. Once it's up and running, we'll see the demo app. It's a basic clicker with a button. The counter shows up on the screen. Let's initialize Shorebird and create a release. Here's the project folder. To do that, I'll run the command Shorebird in it. That sets up the project. You can give it a name or just keep the name from the folder. After that, you'll see a new file called shorebird.yml. That's it, the project is initialized. Now we need to target a specific platform to make a release. Let's say we want to release for Android. We just run Shorebird release Android. If we want to make a release for iOS instead, we just replace Android with iOS in the command. That's all it takes. It only takes a few seconds. Then we'll see a new release created. With its name, version and platform. We just confirm that we want to create it. A few seconds later, our project is ready. You can check everything in the shorebird.dev console, where you'll see the release name and version. You'll also see patches listed here if you decide to make any updates. 
Let's make a patch. We'll go back to Visual Studio Code. Say we want to change something in the app. I'll change the title. Instead of flutterdemo.homepage, I'll rename it to Clicker. We grab the main.dart file, and now we'll create a new patch using the command shorebird patch android. We just need to tell it which release we are working with. Then we wait a few seconds while the app gets fully built. We get another message saying everything's ready to publish the patch. It shows the release name and platform. We confirm we want to publish. And the patch goes live. Success message appears. Now let's go to the shorebird console. We refresh the page and see the patch is there. If we want, we can roll back with just one click. Let's check how the patch looks on the Android emulator. To do that, we run the command shorebird preview and choose which release we're testing. The app launches again, gets initialized and loads onto the emulator. When the app starts, it loads the original release without patches. The logs show the patch downloading in the background. After restarting the app via the app switcher, the patch is installed and the title updates. All good. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. It's worth noting that Shorebird works on top of the Dart runtime to safely update your app's code right on the user's device. All updates happen in the background, so the user doesn't notice anything while the app quietly gets patches. To get started, all you need to do is initialize Shorebird and switch your build command from Flutter build to Shorebird release. Patches don't include the full code, just the changes between versions. That means they download in just a few seconds. And the best part is that if something goes wrong, you can easily roll back the patch by creating a new one. With the previous version of the code, Shorebird fits right into the usual Flutter workflow. It's simple, fast and safe. That's what it brings to the table. Real-world use case – visible. Now, guys, let me tell you about Visible, a company that's using Shorebird in a really powerful way. Visible is on a mission to help people with energy-limiting conditions like long COVID and ME. Their app connects with wearable technology to help over 100 million people worldwide manage their symptoms and contribute to medical research. Their founder, Harry Limin, actually developed long COVID himself after a mild infection, so this is deeply personal for the team. They are creating tools that make invisible health conditions visible for patients, doctors and researchers. But here's where they ran into problems. Dominic Roskowski, their lead engineer, explained that they need to move fast to respond to user needs. Sometimes they want to release updates weekly or multiple times a month, but with traditional App Store releases, they'd have to wait days just to get an app to the testing track and then another week to reach production. Even worse when bugs popped up, which is inevitable in any software. Those fixes had to go through the same lengthy approval process for users relying on the app to track important health information. These delays were really frustrating. That's when they turned to Shorebird. They integrated it directly into their development pipeline, and suddenly they could push updates straight to users without waiting for App Store approvals. Shorebird was a life changer for us, Dominic said. Their team can now react to customer issues almost in real time. They've created a system that makes publishing and patching incredibly easy. The impact has been so significant that Shorebird has become a verb in their company. When there's an issue that needs fixing, the team just says, let's Shorebird it, and they can get the update out right away. In just four months, they've deployed over 200,000 patches to their customer base. They created 48 distinct patches during that time, saving themselves more than a month and a half of deployment time compared to traditional methods. For a company like Visible that's serving people with serious health conditions, this speed and reliability isn't just convenient, it's essential to their mission. Shorebird has helped them stay responsive to user needs 
and focus on what really matters, empowering people to better manage their health conditions. Final thoughts. All right, folks, that wraps up our look at Showbird. As you can see, this tool is a total game changer for Flutter developers. Being able to push updates directly to users without going through app stores is incredibly powerful. Whether you're fixing bugs or rolling out small improvements, what I love most about this tool is how seamlessly it fits into your existing workflow. You can get started with Shorebird in minutes. Seriously, it's as simple as initializing your project and switching from Flutter build to Shorebird release commands. And the best part? They have a completely free plan for anyone who wants to try it out. So if you are working on a smaller project or just want to test the waters, you can do that without spending a penny. When you're ready to scale up, pay plans start as low as $20 per month if you want to dive deeper, I highly recommend checking out their documentation at docs.shorebird.dev. They also have a super active GitHub at github.com slash shorebirdtech, where you can see what they're working on. And if you have questions or want to connect with other developers using Shorebird, their Discord community at discord.gg slash shorebird is really helpful and welcoming. Have you tried using Shorebird or any similar tools for your Flutter apps? I'd love to hear about your experiences in the comments below. And if you have any questions about Shorebird that I didn't answer in this video, drop those in the comments too, and I'll try to help. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.